And we as Christians, are, we get drawn into our culture, especially people like me who naturally pursue pride in the first place. And we look at the world and God's saying, the Christian life requires submission. Jesus and God are equal in all attributes and let, yet the son is eternally submissive to the father. And we're gonna see later in this book, he starts talking about, hey, everyone's gonna submit. First of all, Jesus is the head of the church. We all have to submit to him and do his word. And then we see submit to each other out of reverence for Christ. And then he says, submit to your spiritual authorities because they're perfect. I know they're not perfect. I'm one of them. You don't submit because the person's perfect. You submit because you're trying to be like Christ. Do you think the people that Jesus submitted to on earth were perfect? They nailed him to a cross. Just think about that. And we say, no, never, I won't submit. And God's saying, then you can't be like Jesus because Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to what level? Even to death. And what kind of death? The death on a cross, a criminal's death. 